This is how you handle any migration issues for Django. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're gonna be continuing our series with Django. So we need to look at running the server and so I already have, if you have not seen um, any of the previous videos, make sure you are looking at this playlist and going back and familiarizing yourself. So what we're doing today is we are learning how to handle any migration issues. We're going to learn about the migrate command. So, all right. So if you've not seen any of these videos and you're joining us today, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. So we're just going to run the server and it's literally, so I'm here, I went to my directory and I just did my command line prompt and I'm just going to run the server and it's manage.py.run server. So here I am, it's going to pull in all my, uh, all my projects, start the app, run it on my local sitting right here but if we look right here I have 17 unapplied migrations so those are the things that we've done and changed so right now we need to actually handle those and because we want to make sure that they're up and running and working correctly so we're just gonna do uh, control C to break out of this and it's then literally this simple manage actually let's look at manage.py again in case you have not seen that so here are it's just like pip it's, it's a command file so I'm sitting here and we're going to run migrate so manage.py.migrate there we go and it's going through and it's just gonna go through all of them boom okay 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 it said it was 17 run through and this is one of the things that I love about the command prompt up up run the server bam I have systems checked no issues zero I am ready to go and then you see my timestamp and everything's there so this is this is how you handle any migration issues for Django very clean very simple the way to handle it and the best practice that and you want to get in the habit of when you have this because you don't want them to get too far out of a line and you have an issue but we're going to be building a polling app because I kind of and it's kind of I, I want to know I, I see through YouTube um, how many uh, people around the globe that's what's so humbling is that so many people are on this channel watching and learning Python well guess what I actually want to know exactly where you guys are from and we're gonna build on that and we're gonna go from there so please drop any comments questions or any video requests down below and we're just gonna keep building this and we are gonna stay on this until we're done with this page so alright thanks for watching guys as always and we'll see you next time bye guys hey guys thanks for joining us today I hope you really enjoyed today's video and if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.